Hello everyone, I am Jay Bharti and I am here to take you on a tour of my project. I am from CSE department, final year. So as you have seen in the demonstration earlier, and now I am going to explain the components used in my project. This is a microcontroller called NodeMCU ESP8266. This takes input from the RFID reader module, EM18 reader module, and it stores the code and checks whether the RFID card tab is valid or not and on the basis of that it fires the relay which allows the solenoid lock to open and close and this is the power supply for the solenoid lock and as for the coding part here is the Arduino code which is stored inside the node MCU and it helps to perform the different functions the card IDs are stored in this part only and it checks this is the code which runs and checks whether the card is valid or not and sends the data to a PHP script which pushes the data into the MySQL server. Here is the PHP script which checks whether what is the location at which the employee is entering and it inserts the data such as name and the time at which the employee is entering or exiting into the database. I am Kritika Singh of Final Year CSE Department. I am here to take you through the web portion of our project. So here is the connection code written in PHP. It helps in connecting MySQL database server at localhost to the web pages. So this is the query which is used to connect the MySQL database server to the web page. Here it takes the name of the host that is localhost in our project and the username that is root, the password and the database name that is trial. After that, an if condition is checked if the above connection is established or not or the above query is correct or not, if not, the error is generated and can be viewed on the web page. And if the query is right, if the query is correct, then the connection between MySQL database server and the web page are established. Now let me demonstrate to you the working of web page. So this is the admin login page where admin will enter the username and password and when clicking on sign in, the information is checked. If the information, if the entered credentials match, the admin will head to the next page and this is the page admin will going to interact with. It shows several information like new user, task, completed, pendings, also the name of employees with their designation, status, and role. Now in the left side of the window, the navigation menu is shown from which we can interact with any of the mentioned tab in user management. A table is displayed which contain data of every employee. These data are fetched from database and displayed here. The admin can add new user by clicking on add user button. After clicking a form will appear that take the employee's data. So. After filling the form, when click on submit, the employee data will add in the database and the table get updated as well. 
from here admin can perform operations on data like update and delete when click on update this window will appear with the data filled in the text field and these data are fetched from the database with the particular serial number and when click on update the database get updated and the table as well now we can use the delete button to remove any employee from the database and the updated table is shown here now moving ahead to task management here the table is shown is fetched from the database with information related to task assigned by admin to every employee the admin can add the new task and assign it to any of the employee when click on submit the entry will add in the database now this status the the status can cannot be accessed by the admin it can only be accessed by the employees now admin can update the task by click on update button and after completion of certain tasks he can delete the task as well like and the it increases the number of tasks completed by a particular employee to which the task is assigned now add employee displays the form for adding a new user and now in employee attendance the data taken from every location at workplace is stored in the database and displayed here in the tabular form we can search data of any employee using search bar data get filtered out using search button now this is the login page for employees employee enters the username and password here if the login information match the employee had to this window also this these username and password are generated by the admin and given to employee to access the employee panel so this is the first window the employee will interact with here he can see uh, his attendance and time of spending at every location when click on task assign at the navigation bar an employee can view task assign by admin to the employees now here 
the table is fetched from the database and the columns such as task name task description priority deadlines employees are inaccessible to the employee only the status column is accessed by employees after completing certain amount of work he can update his status every day that can be seen by admin at admin panel here the status updates here the status is updated by the employee and when this page refreshes it can be viewed by the admin